Okay, so obviously this video is going to come out a bit earlier, but uh, you know, there's still a day and a bit on the wheel for Abraham, so you know, I'm not late yet. So there's a few things I want to talk about before we go into the Abraham review. First of all, War of Champions 4 has been announced. Personally, I'm not thrilled to hear the news. Um, personally, I think it's way too soon. I think it should have been next year. War of Champions should have um, came back around. But, you know, people were speculating when it would be. And now there is a date. It's November. When in November? I don't know. Is there going to be qualification stages? I don't know. They don't fucking say. You know, it would be nice saying, oh yeah, there's going to be qualification stages, there's this that, and the other, not, oh yeah, guys, World Champions 4 is in November. Have fun. Great. But, you know, I think it's too soon. Uh, I think it should be once a year sort of thing. Because, God almighty, that is a fucking, ooh, that is rough. But then, again, I literally had World Champions, like a mini World Champions <laughs> last war weekend. Everyone but Dar was in there, so, you know, who cares, eh? Pretty much the same thing. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's too soon, um, personally. Next year would have been great. A time would have been great. If there's qualification stages would have been great. What the rewards are going to be. You know, any of the extra information would have been great. But, no, they're just like, yes, in November, have fun. So, yeah, there's that. Second thing, probably most, uh, you know, talked about topic. Uh, the forums have been shut, well, are going to be shut down on the 30th, which is today, I believe. Um, personally, I've never been a big fan of it, but then again, I've never hated it. Personally, I'll just check the forums whenever I'm on a break or something. Just have a little read. There's some great forum posts sometimes. They're retarded as shit, and they're as petty as fuck. But, that being said, they are entertaining, and they have been there. You know, the forums have been there since the start. And getting rid of them, you know... I think it was it's too late to get rid of the to get rid of it personally because that's where everyone has migrated to. If you've been playing the game for a long time, you know if you want any news or to talk about a topic, you go to the forums. You make a post, you label it, and then people comment on that post about your topic. But with Discord, it's more. What's the word I'm looking for? Fucked. It's a bit. You know, it's a bit fucked. Like. They've only got a certain amount of channels and they're not really dedicated to certain topics like um, the forum is. So people are getting confused and frustrated. But I do agree with Discord is a better way of conveying um, information because it's all in one place. Whereas the forums is a bit fucking skew with. Whereas you can just go on official announcements and look up, down, whatever you need to. And all your information is there. So I do think getting rid of the forums is a bad move. Um, you know, it's been there for so long and it was fucking funny to read, regardless of how many retarded people there was on it and how much trolling toxicity and whatnot. It was just a good thing. I think the, the reason they did it to Discord is they can monitor it better. Like, if you fucking um, say anything they don't like, they can time you out. They can ban you. Whatever. Whereas on the forums, there was just so many threads going on and on and, you know, there wasn't a whole lot they could do. But what I do think they could do to make the transition from the forums to Discord a little bit better. First of all, have more channels with dedicated threads. So what I mean is the top threads from the forums, like top our top facts of RTS. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really been keeping an eye out. But other threads that were popular on the forums, if this make dedicated threads on the Discord. That would be great because I know there's like the embassy, the chit chat and whatnot. But it's you just can't stay on a topic long enough before someone just, you know goes on a completely different path talking about some random shit so i do think that'd be good also i know this is very common with other discords but add some voice channels like that'd be fun as fuck like have loads of voice channels and like people from the community community can talk to each other like talk about teams uh just chat and like personally i think it'd be funny as shit like i'll just jump in there and chat some shit and whatnot like uh, just imagine like um the amount of fun and, like, late-night warring. Like, let's say um, you're in a big uh, cross region war. You could literally have um, people from other factions talking to you, and then you just shit-talk them. I think that would be funny as shit, personally. But, yeah. Personally, overall, overall consensus is forums being shut down is a shit move. 
majority of the community is against it. I don't disagree with, um, you know, all the official announcements being on Discord because it's easier to find. But the forums has been there since, you know, day one. And it, just to get rid of it now is a bit fucking retarded. So, yeah, that's pretty much my opinions on all the big topics that have happened this week. I don't believe there's any other big topics, but, you know, I could be fucking wrong. Who knows? So, Abraham, uh, personally, straight out on tier list. B, I mean, he can be good. He could be really shit as well. He's more of a, uh, I don't know what to call him. He's sort of like a, an Andrea from the Five Star Era, and I'll show you why. So, personally, I wouldn't pull for him. Um, unless you're a Megalodon, or you have a lot of free cash, or, he, you know, he seems appealing to you, I really, really wouldn't recommend pulling. So... Deal 600% damage to five enemies. Those enemies get impaired for one turn. Very basic, you know, nothing really special. But that being said, he does hit everyone on the team. So that can be a good thing or a bad thing. So, I don't know, let's say you got a full red team. 600% damage, you buff them, debuff them. He's going to wipe them. Give him a 20% weapon, he might be able to kill them all turn one. Very, very unlikely, but it could happen. Um, if you have enough team player or a debuff or a buff. And the Impair for one turn, I mean, nobody really runs Impair, so it's a bit of control. But it's very bare bone. It's only two things. And with S-Clash, you normally want like three, four things on the rush to make it really appealing. But personally, I think he's pretty meh. That being said, um, he does have Outlast. So, he could be good for a defense team with his... You know, since he's hitting everyone, give him a 20% weapon, make him turn, rush to turn one. Might be able to wipe the team. Very unlikely, but, you know, I reckon he could do it if you um, mod correctly. And then you got the active skill, which is defense down and elusive, which I find this is a really odd one for me. So it's up to five enemies to get 50% defense down for two turns. Now, I don't get why this isn't on a rush. Like, having this as an active skill is very weird to me. An active should be like recover, impair, like give impair, normalize, focus, something like that. But defense down is just like a very weird one. And obviously a few people get elusive, which really isn't that great. So personally, I'm not impressed. Um, he also does have a bound weapon. 30 HP, that's fucking useless already. Medium, useless. And when attacking, 100% chance to cause 4,000 trauma for two turns to the enemy. I mean... Yes, yeah, all right, but you know, are you really gonna wait for trauma to kick in? Probably not. Probably best to just give him a twenty percent, or you know, I don't know, a TP might be all right. But yeah, I, d I just don't see many people pulling from personally. Um, yeah, he could kill the whole team turn one. Yeah, he could kill the whole team on defense turn one, but. His attack stats is 4,000. It's not great. HP, 4,000. And then defense, 3,900. He's just a well-balanced character. He doesn't really, you know, shine in any areas. He could be built for defense. You know, attacking everyone, giving them impair. Might be able to get a kill. But then again, the defense is more tank meta at the moment than uh, offense. So, I don't know if that's something to consider. But for attack, yeah, sure, he might be able to kill a trader, um, or whatnot. But you know, I don't think he's gonna be that great. So would I recommend pulling? No. Is he a fun tune? Might be, but uh, he just takes a lot of armory tokens. He's gonna take a very good weapon, and he's gonna have to have very good support around him for him to even kill. Uh, if his attack stat was higher, then I might say yeah. But, you know, Outlast is pretty defensive. Um, I don't know what you call it, specialist. And then the defense down on the active. Yeah, it's good. Plus the, the follow-up of the rush. It might kill. Well, it will kill. But I just think there's way better options out there with uh, Andrea, Beta, and all them. So, personally, no pull. Uh, I know it's a short video, but... That being said, there is going to be a new promo in like two days, so I'll have another video out then. But yeah, until the next video, uh, peace out. Hope you're all doing good. Get prepared for World Champions 4. I cry over the forums, all that good shit. And uh, yeah, peace out.